last video we did the uh, power wash in the block and now I'm trying to get rid of all of the uh, loose paint that's still left on his engine because last thing I want to do is paint this block and a few weeks a month later all my nice paint start lifting off and I got rust underneath it because of the loose paint that's still left on the block so as you can see I started taping off my deck surface I cleaned that up a little bit on um, both blocks the 60 and the 5.3 so I'm starting to go with block and you can see paint like right here all this right here Try and get that off. I got loose paint. All this, I want to make sure that's off. Stuff like that right there. Right here, see all that flaking off? I don't want that in my paint job. Prep is everything, man. So like right here, I got a lot of dirt still left. Over here, you can really see it. So, I don't want any of this in my paint. See what I mean? So, I clean all the bolt holes over here. All the stuff I need to clean out. But like this, this is the main thing is getting the old paint off. Over here, same thing. Um, I'm gonna smooth this out. I don't want these bubbles or rust bubbles, wherever they are. I gotta clean that up. These are pretty clean. That's pretty much how I want the one over here to look. See how filthy that is? So they need to be more like that. But yeah, that's what I'm doing. I taped off the uh, heads. So when I paint, I get that uh, perfect finish. So I'm still on the fence on one of them painted. I already know that's going black. I know the box going to be black. I'm thinking about most people debate on painting the heads. I think this one, I'm going to keep aluminum heads. But I think this, I'm murder this block out. I'm gonna go black block, black heads. And then I'll show you the other color. You probably, you already know what it's gonna be. It's gonna be red, basically. So this is gonna be black and red. And I think this is gonna be like a black, silver, and red, or a black, aluminum, and red pattern on the 5.3. And then while I'm also cleaning, um, all this is WD-40 from spraying the cylinders. I'm gonna have to clean these cylinders back out because the debris is still coming back in there. So I'm gonna clean all that out first before I finish the bottom end. Because I'm gonna paint the block, start reassembly on the bottom end, put my oil pan, everything in, and then we'll go back to the top. But yeah, all the oil is on there minus, obviously the WD-40, keep applying to the cylinders, make sure they don't rust out. But that's what I'm doing today. Paint prep, scraping all the old paint off, all the flaking paint, really. This is like the kind of surface I'm going for. I want it nice and smooth. Then I'll scuff the block down and paint it. But just giving y'all an update on what I'm doing. One, this is all clean. To my liking we're going to start painting the block we're going to let it dry and then we reassemble the engine um shout out to ls i saw this video <laughs> he got the engine started but he had a little accident um check out his live if he still has it posted up i got a bad feeling about this <laughs> It was
was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Keep you this shit on deck. Do you understand me? Keep it on deck. But yeah, shout out to LS. Um, his six O's running. And he in there. I'm taking my time. I'm doing it more in depth than his build. Like I said, this is a full rebuild. Bottom, top end, everything. I still got to do the harness. I still got to do the transmission. I got to do all my turbo uh, piping. Um, it's going to take a minute, but I think we're doing a good pace right now. But anyway, that's the homie LSA Ride 254. Um, it just proves, even though we're professionals and we're showing you how to do this, you have to be safe at all time. In my videos, I always practice safety. I tell you, wear your gloves, wear your eye protection. When you're dealing with fire, you definitely want to have a fire extinguisher close by next to you. Uh, when you're working on an engine, anything with fire, anything with sparks, keep you a fire extinguisher. Now I do have headers for mine. I have a full set of manifolds for both sides, even though I'm going turbo. I still have a full set to do my testing. So I have a set, I have my turbo, my manifolds, another servo, manifolds. You can see I got my parts ready. I got them on deck um, for the build. And as you see down there, those are my turbo manifolds for my 6053. So those will be going in. So guys, so today um, I'm gonna show you what I'm doing. Like I said, I'm gonna clean out the block. My hands all ashy, don't worry about that, it's from working. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna clean up the block, strip all the uh, loose paint off of it, hit it with the primer, paint the block, um, I'm not going to clear until I probably assemble the block when I have all my bolts on there just in case I need to spray over the bolts again. Um, when I tighten them down, sometimes they strip off the paint. Then I'll seal it with the uh, clear. So that's what I'm doing today. Clean up the block and paint it. But anyway, guys, I won't hold you um, too long. I figure I'll show you an update video since... Um, I usually do a video, I've been trying to do a video, three videos a week. Um, so I may have the finish, or at least the prime version of the locks up today. If not, you see it tomorrow. As always, remember to like, comment, definitely subscribe, share if you want. Peace.